Welcome to Electra Online and now we'll take a closer look at the cycle of solar eclipses and it's called the Saros cycle. It was discovered that every 18 years, 10.3 days, an entire cycle will repeat itself the way solar eclipses occur, a total of 6,585.3 days. What that means is that 18 years, 10.3 days later, the entire cycle repeats and since it's 10.3, the 0.3 days is a third of a day, which is about 120 degrees, the entire cycle repeats itself but 120 degrees further westward. So in, on March the 9th, 1997, we had a total solar eclipse here in the polar region and 18 years, 10.3 days later, we'll have another one in the polar region but about 120 degrees shifted to the west. Now, what we do realize is that the whole cycle starts with an eclipse in the polar region. The whole cycle covers about 40 eclipses. Now, I say about because it could potentially change on occasion and the conditions are just right, but the solar cycle typically contains, about, contains exactly 40 solar eclipses. And also, on alternate cycles, the eclipse will start a little further north or a little bit further south, back and forth, back and forth. So we see that trend there as well um, with the startup of the solar eclipse. So that's what's known as the Saro cycle. And it's very interesting. Because of that, we have a really good way of predicting when the next solar eclipses will occur. So if you ever wondered, wow, how did they figure it out? Well, they've already figured out, and we can go into the future and pretty well know when the next solar eclipses will occur and about where they will occur because we have a very good standard cycle under control now so we we really know what that looks like and in the next video I'll actually we'll map it out for you so you can take a look at it and it's quite amazing how they actually figured that out